Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Cosmic Rainbow Bridgers of the 5D Golden Era of Peace. On this final day of this intense month of September, with the lunar eclipse and equinox energies continuing to pour into this realm from the Most High, we have wave upon wave of higher light information flowing into the sacred crystalline heart center of Gaia and all her children of the sun. Our local Solaris continues to send light reinforcements today, releasing seven C-class solar flares and a major M-class flare, maxing at M7.68 at 2359 UTC. We also have higher pulses of resonance in the heartbeat of Mother Earth today, appearing on the Schumann charts at amplitudes of 24 hertz, 27 hertz, 39 hertz, 44 hertz, and a big blast of white light at 52 hertz. Fifth through seventh dimensional energetics fully anchored in and rising. Pachamama also received a major activation today on her Pacific Ring of Fire with a magnitude 5.9 earthquake on the east coast of Kamchatka, Russia, at 1221 UTC, encoded with the solstice of the Tropic of Capricorn still center, activating the root chakra and lower dantien of our ground crew team of the 144 to fully allow the higher self to merge with the current 3D consciousness to become rainbow bridges of heaven and earth. Synchronizing with these powerful events, we also had a galactic activation portal day on the Mayan Zolkin calendar, with Keen 85, Red Resonant Serpent, of our Red Dragon Nation rising. This is preparing Mother Earth and all Starseed Earth Angelics for this catalyst to catapult us to the next level and phase of our ascension journey as we integrate and process the new codes and keys of freedom in the light. Our Venusian lineage has returned with the eagle and the condor to raise the new Lemuria from the ocean of consciousness and return this realm to her original pristine state of the pure land of infinite life. We are all on the higher trajectory of the rising of our kundalini energies to enlighten the crown and transform our 3D human vessels into 5D light body avatars of Gaia Galactica. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle, Keen 47, Blue Galactic Hand of our Universal Alliance of Light with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful daily ritual to the sun and sacred prayer. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below. And now we continue with Divine Sistar of the Light Erini, Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy. Collectively on Earth, on one side is the Phoenix burning, on the other side are the incoming waves of Poseidonia, and in the center is the Mother's new breath of life, as within, so without, Kundalini rising. And from Divine Sistar of the Light Inga Barona, the Heart Path. From October through the final months of the year, a powerful process will begin as the blindfolds are gradually lifted. Last weekend I was shown that this will mark both an end and a new beginning, leading to a period of profound realization where hidden truths and personal revelations will come to light, allowing us to see with a greater clarity and awareness on a level that was previously inaccessible. As the illusions that have kept many in looping games and dynamics begin to dissolve, this time will support us in connecting deeply with our heart's truth as the choice arises to step fully into a higher path and soul mission. 
As we move through this transformative period, many relationships that have served their purpose may come to an end, especially those based on karmic cycles. This clearing process creates space for a higher love to emerge as sacred partnerships become increasingly visible. These divine connections will align on a deeper soul level, nurturing growth, support, and unconditional love, and a shared divine purpose. As we let go of the old, we make room for a powerful and harmonious love connection that authentically reflects our divine essence and higher calling. These sacred unions are meant to reunite at this time, for they hold the sacred keys and codes to build heaven on earth together, connecting eye to eye, heart to heart as one. Infinite rose blessings to all. And today from Divine Energy Works, Libra Solar Eclipse Portal Energies, Ring of Fire Solar Eclipse on October 2nd, a South Node Eclipse, connected to our karmic past and represents the energies we are ready to release on the personal and collective levels. The Sun and the Moon in Libra are tightly conjunct Black Moon Lilith, the archetype of the repressed feminine energy, bringing in the integration of the suppressed and denied aspects of ourselves. This is a partial solar eclipse where the sun's edges remain visible, creating the stunning ring of fire effect. It symbolizes something incomplete, partially unveiling the new energies that are gradually developing and illuminating our commitment to self and our soul path. This is a final eclipse in Libra for this energetic cycle completing the two-year cycle of transformation and opening a new chapter. This is a south node eclipse, connected to our karmic past and represents the energies we are ready to release on the personal and collective levels. Bringing release of karmic cycles and patterns, abrupt and sudden shifts and endings, balancing of the feminine and masculine energies, major timeline collapse leading to a breakthrough, sudden clarity, soul missions and divine connections, and union activations, unexpected opportunities, breakthroughs, destined new beginnings. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Shea from Numbers by Shea Numerology, 93024. Numerology tells us that our life's purpose is encoded in the numbers in your birth date. Those numbers represent your challenges and achievements and lay out the path you will take in life. The road to self-mastery you've traveled this year has been offered only to those who are ready and able to claim the power and responsibility it entails. So if you've been witness to your own progress and growth and you want even more, you're ready for October's revelations. Today's energy, however, is not for your use. It will swirl around you and tug at your senses. But your right action is simply to be present and observe. These underlying but potent currents are best left alone. They have work to do before tomorrow's path begins its ascent. And today from Divine Brother of the Light, Diego E. Berman, Ph.D. Welcome to the energies of October 2024, Eclipses and New Beginnings. Dear friends, a new month begins as the first star appears in the night sky on the last day of each month, and with it a new energetic shift arrives. According to numerology, the month of October in the Gregorian calendar is influenced by the energies of the numbers 1 and 10, being the 10th month of the year. The energy of this month will be majorly affected by the annular solar eclipse of October 2nd. The energies of the month of October always accelerate events. Apart from January, October is a month in which a new and unknown vibration is inserted into our life. It's an ingredient that hasn't been present throughout the year. The vibration of number 10 is associated with independence, leadership, and has an infinite potential for manifestation. The number 10 represents the energy of self-determination in all of its aspects. Another energetic facet of number 10 is the idea of starting anew in any area of your life. It could be work-related, relationships with others or with yourself, your spiritual path, 
are moving to a new location. The gentle influence of Libra encourages harmony in relationships, self-care, and decision-making, while the intense presence of Scorpio stirs the depths of your soul, beckoning you to release old patterns and embrace renewal. As we connect with the incoming energies of October, we can tap into an energetic flow of support, self-confidence, and a sea of new ideas that can catapult us into higher timelines. Number 10 is formed by a pillar and a circle. It is both masculine and feminine. It contains within it the father-mother principles symbolizing wholeness. And because of this integrative attribute, it brings with it the energy of new creations and the responsibility we have as humans to use this power wisely and for the greater good. The number 10 resonates deeply across various belief systems, embodying themes of completeness, divine order, and moral responsibility. In Christianity, number 10 symbolizes perfection and divine order. The Ten Commandments stand as a testament to God's moral law. The Ten Plagues of Egypt serve as vivid demonstrations of divine power and judgment against adultery, showcasing God's sovereignty over creation. In the act of creation itself, the phrase God said echoes ten times in Genesis 1, underscoring the fullness of His creative work. Astrologically, ten is linked to Saturn, embodying themes of discipline, structure, and karmic fulfillment. This celestial connection emphasizes leadership qualities. Those influenced by this number often exhibit strong leadership skills coupled with a profound sense of duty. It also represents karmic lessons that mark milestones in personal growth and completion of karmic cycles. In astrology, the tenth house pertains to career aspirations and public reputation, highlighting ambition as a driving force in one's life. Many people this month will make snap decisions to change their lives in a big positive way or are finally stepping out of old situations and or circumstances into new better suited heart-centered ones. The energy of October can be summarized as, This is my life. I deserve to be happy. I have the power to make myself and others happy. The ring of fire eclipse on Wednesday will accelerate these inner and outer changes and consolidate the new timelines for the rest of this year and the next. Overall, the resonance of the October energies combined with the philosophical implications of number 10 invites us to embrace change while recognizing our responsibilities within a larger cosmic framework. This new month serves as a reminder to reflect on our personal journeys while aligning with universal principles that guide ethical living and spiritual growth. May you have a wonderful new month filled with insights and the inner strength to act upon them. New chapters will be written this month. Allow your heart to fill these new pages with joyful and enriching stories. Much love, we are one. From DiegoBerman.com From Divine Sistar of the Light Natalia Alba Beloved Venusian family, we are heading into a significant, stabilizing passage ruled by the solar eclipse at 10 degrees Libra in which your loving presence is pivotal to help heal the female and restore balance for all. We are at a crucial time during the Libra Eclipse, as the Venusian healing transmissions have started to be transmitted to our planet, and to all who are willing to continue restoring their female energy. Light transmissions that are facilitated by the conjunction between the Eclipse and Mercury which expands communication between all dimensions, enhancing the light descension received at this time from our God Self, Venus, and many light forces within creation that watch over us. Many of you as channelers of Venusian harmonic energies are recoding the feminine template, stabilizing it, and embracing the dark feminine and masculine as the only way to bring truth where illusions and unloved still remain. Some may feel eclipses as chaotic, 
but this is just the superficial vision of what is truly taking place within all of us a complete renewal in all aspects of us and our lives especially relationships eclipses bring to the surface all that can no longer coexist with our new chosen frequency showing us where we need to create more healing purification and balance the libra eclipse invites us to seed more harmony love and balance restoring divine order where chaos governs the essence of libra is one of transmutation and purification so we can achieve equilibrium within all aspects of ourselves as the ninth universal number of october confirms together with a solar eclipse occurring on the lunar south node we are invited to release the past even if the square of the sun and moon to mars will challenge us deeply it is time to heal soul wounds and especially the relationships that have fulfilled their purpose working now on the creation of more balanced relationships for as we shift from within so do all of our divine reunions cutting cords to become energetic sovereign beings and move into a whole space venusians help us to see everything and everyone from a space of love unity and truth balancing our ego and victim victimizer roles so we can see the seed of pain in ourselves and our relationships as with judgments we cannot heal the wound only emphasize it we have all as well another important aspect during the libra eclipse as it conjuncts with black moon lilith which represents the restoration of the divine feminine that the venusians are helping us with during this period clearing lunar implants sexual programs reverse fleur de lis and many other distorted female geometries and inserts that we have been suffering from for eons liberating our feminine essence by healing the dark female in us all is key at the moment to merge it with our divine masculine and create the unity within and in our divine reunions that we so desire at this time of profound recalibration our venusian family and those of you with venusian lineage have an important role in this new stabilizing passage that we are transiting venusian's main mission is to assist our planet in healing the deep polarization that it has been immersed in for eons they are working with many of you descendants from the venusian essene christos lineage in retrieving the feminine pillar template on earth many of you hold unique venusian female codes to retrieve the lost female essence restoring balance and harmony where unlove and darkness used to reign one forty four flowing in with the libra eclipse it is now a time for the ones carrying this mission to restore many reversals in our planetary female template that has been siphoning our feminine sexual life force the venusian council and many of you who have soul agreements with them are now involved in the defense of our planetary recently restored fabrics for your unique blueprint acts as a neutralizer shield against intruders whose purpose is to bring more separation and unlove during this eclipse creating balance within yourselves is key at this time for all of you carrying this mission while you too experience the deep impact of physical ascension together with your personal experiences not to fall out of balance remaining in your higher heart and in the compassionate and neutral witnessing required to continue acting as planetary healers we all carry the seed of the divine feminine within we all can retrieve it at any moment we decide to go within synthesize all of who we are and surrender to the female principle that reminds us that all is within and that the more we search outside the more we will lose ourselves in illusions this eclipse is a wonderful source of harmony healing and love for all who are willing and brave to live from a heart space keeping their heart open to transmute all the unlove and confusion that too reigns in our dual plane keeping only the love that we are and expanding it to all who are choosing to embrace it moving into a new timeline where love is the only law 
to all of you harmonic cedars for all of you uniquely assist in this transition thank you for all the effort to remain within your higher hearts for all have a blessed and loving eclipse beloveds with an infinite love from nataliaalba.com from divine sistar of delight aluna joy yashkin this eclipse portal september 18th through october 2nd has been proving to be a cosmic wallop the portal onset triggered by the kilauea volcano in hawaii to begin to erupt once again the hawaiian islands are one of the four heart pumps on the planet for the two major ley lines that circumnavigate the earth distributing life-giving cosmic light what happens on or near these heart pumps affects the whole planet on solstice we felt a lot of high frequencies coming from vega and the arcturus that is only two of dozens of influences during this time while large influxes of incoming cosmic frequencies clear out the very back of our closets of anything unhealed physically emotionally and spiritually volcanoes bring a new creative energy with knowledge and wisdom to the surface so much cosmic light is now flowing into earth that it has triggered a sudden mini crisis of collective deep clearing earth and sky will not be ignored any more on a personal level we may have fallen quickly into some deep levels of old and even ancestral grief and deep feelings of vulnerability and anxiety we are digging so deep at this point that we may not know where the triggers are coming from any more these triggers could be from our personal ancient past or things unhealed in the collective it will be a continual process of getting to know oneself repeatedly as we continually change and morph to align with the new frequencies we will never be the same nor would we want to be we can see the cosmic balance struggling to return to a new alignment on a global level this intensifies tensions between countries our home countries and our relationships we are also seeing the expected intensification of weather patterns and this last hurricane helene has made her point but are we listening the cosmic balance is coming in waves that appear like chaos to us but i am told that all this is necessary for a time most people are now becoming aware that we live on a planet with two clearly distinct realities and most of humanity is in one or the other how this continues to evolve on our planet has yet to be decided by the collective either way paradoxically humanity at a collective soul level is working together as one to bring about balance it appears at present that the two realities will become less and less aware of the other to the point where they no longer exist for each other nobody really knows how this will play out we have never entered a new large cycle of time while in physical bodies in ages past when we shifted into new cycles many passed consciously into another dimension or escaped with some otherworldly assistance or dropped their bodies altogether all three options may be playing out now this eclipse portal makes one feel like humanity is holding its breath as we wonder how things will unfold we have had days where we felt like we could not get enough oxygen we have had other days where we didn't know which way to go we've had episodes of feeling stalled confused and completely turned around we have gathered many ideas and options for where we will put our energy next but it has not been the time to put them into action all we experience right now is a normal part of our ascension into a new frequency or so i'm told this portal is a time to let go of the undefinable and unknowable that echoes from the past and has been rippling toward us in this eclipse portal we are preparing plans for what we will do next keeping in mind that all our plans may change nothing is solid yet it's amazing to watch humanity collectively going through this unique process that we are totally unprepared for how could we have been prepared we have never lived through this part of evolution on this planet not ever i think it's incredible that we are all holding it together as well as we are all while it feels like our world is falling apart 
but our spirits know exactly what to do, even though our minds are at a loss for what is next. It is all in divine order. Soon we can look back and see our incredible progress, all achieved simply by surrendering and following our hearts. From alunajoy.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Judith Kusel. This morning I was told to go and sit in the sun, a rather wintry sun, even though it is supposed to be spring. I was shown how the sun with the flares are emitting sacred geometrical patterns filled with sound. These are directly downloaded into our pineal and pituitary glands and activating the dormant faculties within, as it is activating our new light bodies and superhuman abilities. The combination of sacred geometrical light power combined with celestial sound is very powerful, and as I was tuning in, it sounded like choirs of angels singing. Then I was in a much higher state, taken into the new earth, and into a vast crystal pyramid in the middle, and therein, in an enormous chamber, is the gigantic crystal of the new earth. It was pulsating with golden white fire, generating the seventh dimensional frequency of the new golden age. The new crystalline energy fields are being fully activated, and this is now causing the new earth to fully incorporate the old earth, causing the old to make way for the new. I was shown how this is connecting certain sites on earth, and was shown the new land masses rising in the Atlantic, Indian, and Pacific Oceans which supersede the old, and thus the rising of the new humanity, all life and life forms, as well as the return of those we believe to be extinct. Interestingly, I was taken into one of the inner ocean abodes of the mere people, who with the dolphins and whales are overseeing the new oceans and waters, and are playing a vital role in the new birthing. It means a new birth in so many forms and ways, I cannot find adequate words to describe this. All I can say is release the old to make way for the new. Do not cling onto anything or anyone. All is in a process of changing form. From JudithKusel.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light Karen Lithica Follow your light path. Seek the internal light wisdom of your DNA. Discover your multidimensional light journey. Align to the true vibrational you, beyond the constraints of now. Understand your day-to-day -day reality is only a fractal part of you. The journey of the light self is the inner light path. To learn about your many selves, the whole you, to see the light path before you, the inner light awakening. Discover your light path day by day, the clues your soul team provide synchronistic numbers, the feathers upon your light path, nature's gifts, all aligned to assist your energetic pathway of light, daily affirmations to your soul team. I call in my soul family of unconditional love to provide daily light gifts to illuminate my path, to assist my light decisions and mission, to please provide daily guidance to assist my path of unconditional love. With Love Light Family, the Arcturians, and Karen, from KarenLithica.com. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn, 144, God Code. Support is carrying you through endings and into your new beginning. Receive the divine protection that is assuring your success. Today is an opportune time to review the details before proceeding. More insights are bringing new understanding to reflect on. Decisions to release what needs to go will assist in a happier future. Trust that you are evolving and have therefore outgrown many things. It's okay to expand and change to avoid judging your choices. Trust that these are leading to a beautiful new beginning you will love. God bless you. Love, Carolyn, from 144godco.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Adrian Elise. September 30th through October 7th, 2024, Leveling Up, Supernova Astrology Update. This week's Libra Solar Eclipse is bringing a powerful energy. The Sun and Moon will be together with Mercury and Black Moon Lilith, 
and not too far away from the south node of the moon. We are seeing through the lies and delusions in order to release ourselves from the chains of the past. The method of capture was through contracts which we made with lower beings who manipulated us into these toxic predatory arrangements. We must reevaluate our loyalties and make sure that everyone in our life is exactly who they say they are. We are leveling up and taking those around us up with us. Eclipses are a lining up of energy. This eclipse is particularly potent because of the planetary lineup in Libra. All focus is on our relationships and who we are to our community. The darkness can no longer hide. The truth is being told, and every force is being revealed in its true resonance. We are bringing dark to light. Mercury is about coming into greater understanding. The sun and Mercury just crossed over the south node of the moon, bringing to light these past toxic relationships. Mercury will catch up to the sun on October 1st. We are coming to awareness in our heart, soul, and emotions. We are facing the lies which have kept us from owning and claiming our power. We are healing and finding peace and forgiveness for what got us here today but we can no longer participate in a world that is not in alignment with our loving mother. We stand as representatives of her authority and in reverence for all she offers. We are just coming off of a week with a kite formation made by the sun and Mercury opposing Neptune. This eclipse season is about lifting up into new realities. This is confirmed and amplified by Mars and Cancer coming into trine with Saturn and Pisces. It is officially time to dream a new dream, which is the mother's original dream. Venus and Scorpio will be coming into trine with Saturn on October 5th, making a grand water trine. Venus and Scorpio says it is safe to come back into connection with creation energy. We are diving deep in order to uncover our inner treasures. This grand water trine says that the wheel of time must turn and the only direction forward is back to the mother. Eclipses often indicate timeline alignments. Mars in Cancer is ready to fight for her world her way. Our feminine is standing up to claim what is rightfully hers. Permission for flourishing abundance. All resources and technologies must come into alignment with her way. What is right and good and true wins again. From AdrianElise.com and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Colleen Lemma. On Monday, September 30th, Mercury, ruler of the mental realm, is connecting with the Sun, ruler of vital energy, and Libra, sign of the scales. Libra is the only sign that is an inanimate object, not an animal nor a person. We know Libra to be the ruler of relationships, but it also rules balance, harmony, peace, and justice. We can also look at this as the karmic scales rebalancing the energies in our lives and perhaps on the planet herself. We cannot continue to look upon and treat each other with lack of equality and regard. We also cannot continue to treat Earth Mother Gaia with a lack of care and respect. For today, reach out to those in your life and let them know you care. Treat strangers as if they were your sisters and brothers and send Earth Mother Gaia your love and gratitude. Blessings of love and light to all from sacredsoulempowerment.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Sun conjunct Mercury and Libra. Mercury conjunct South Node. Mars in Cancer trine Saturn retrograde in Pisces. Echoes from the past and old voices are still in play, but illumination is coming. Think light and there will be an answer, a revelation, a brilliant flash of knowing, or an inner story that guides your hand. Stop asking for answers and listen. Your heart knows. Your soul speaks. Let the old paradigms fall away. For some, these days may be marked by messages coming out of the blue, strange thoughts wandering through, odd ideas that curiously make sense. Let your mind turn them over and examine them from all sides. There are stories with multiple endings. Choose your frequency to choose your path. There are dreams in the making here. 
with strength and fortitude you can accomplish your goals wise action comes from trusting your instincts from leahwhitehorse.com and today from the zolkeen times keen 85 red resonant serpent resonant is the name for the number seven and its keywords are attune inspire and channel the seventh day is all about adjusting your frequency tuning yourself in so you may receive wisdom from the universe we are right now bang in the middle of the wave spell so a good time to ponder what you've experienced thus far and attune so you may understand what steps to take next some cultures regard the number seven as lucky and if it does enable you to channel well that seems lucky to me today is red serpent which represents life force instinct and survival the serpent is a very sensitive creature it detects the slightest movement he has a good handle on everything that is going on in the vicinity on serpent days we too can use our instincts to work out what is happening if you try to feel the subtle vibrations and use your snaky senses you too can detect details you previously overlooked the sensitivity however can be intense so be aware of that today the serpent also represents transmutation as it is said you can survive a snake bite you become stronger this symbolizes transmuting your own poison or darkness or whatever prevents you from vibrating higher take advantage of this energy today and process the venom you may be poisoning yourself with and set it free as it is a resonant day you can channel the wisdom you need to help you succeed and today from divine sister of the light christina papa giorgio red resonant serpent seven cheek chan keen 85 30th of september 2024 channeling instinct attuned to passion keen 85 equal 13 equal 4 new foundation resonant tone 7 magic galactic activation portal day today we have a date with destiny on this potent 11 gap portal day ensuring those potent codes are fully encoded in gaia's grids as humanity transforms the serpent resonant emotions blue storm and gap day mama mia what a punch day seven in the blue storm wave spell of purification cleansing transformation and evolution the storm and the serpent bring each of us and humanity a huge magical transformation today through shedding our old emotional snake skins today we attune to the cycles transcending the old survival themes and transforming them to a higher frequency allowing our kundalini to rise up elevating our consciousness tone of creation resonant tone seven in the emotional realm action inspires power channel essence attunement the resonant tone provides the ability to fine-tune and channel the magical forces today to effect great healing and transformation remember that it is our vibration that will energize our creation this is broadcast through our emotional body rather than our mental body so it is very important that we are stable calm and receptive to our feelings and what frequencies we are actually emitting as a transmitter to the etheric realm at tone seven our vibrating phenomenon learns to be still and to listen mystical seven understands that everywhere is magical but right here is better once we attune and then channel the magic through this present moment that is available to us all number seven is also the frequency of the mystic and the magician which strengthens our ability to effect real change and transformation in our lives today's question is what instinctual fears and emotions can i release to raise my consciousness beyond survival mode igniting my passion through my higher divine mission divine blessings for your transcendence of fear and attuning to the big global aquarian picture in la ketch a la keen christina white magnetic world bridger keen 66 keen 85 red resonant serpent the mantra the code for today is i channel in order to survive inspiring instinct i seal the store of life force with the resonant tone of attunement i am guided by the power of navigation 
I am a galactic activation portal. Enter me. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below, what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. Now I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Sis Star of the Light, Sherry Magdalene Rose, for your pledge and support on Patreon, and welcome to the Tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. If you'd like to support our work and mission with a monthly pledge, you can do so to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to also thank Divine Brothor of the Light, Milo Shradik, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Brothor. We appreciate you and your continued support, and we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so we're very grateful for each and every one of you. If you'd like to support our work and mission with a one-time donation, you can do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at egolovedcondor.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful prayer and ritual from the Summit Lighthouse, a daily ritual to the sun. Gautama Buddha reminds us how important it is to make a daily ritual of facing the sun of our I Am Presence and the sun of Helios and Vesta. Recognize that all sons and daughters of God have the possibility of meditating upon the great central sun through the sun of their I Am Presence and the sun of Helios and Vesta. With concentrated visualization daily, you can establish such a strong tie to the great central sun as to make you almost oblivious to the darkness of the earth. You must always put this darkness behind you, and when you invoke your tube of light, visualize the rays of the great central sun streaming down upon you within and without. And for the prayer, in the name of Almighty God, we call for the spheres of the five secret rays and the seven colored rays. We call for this action of the sacred fire to pulsate within us for our purification. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the Divine Mother, we accept this done, this hour, in full power. Amen. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, sacred, blessed, and empowering month of October as we continue our journey through the Ascension Portal and into our new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The Eagle and the Condor love you all. Namaste.